Properties of Water by Tessa Krieger. Where do we see water? In oceans? In toilets? In our backyard pool? Or even in waterfalls? Are ice, steam, and water all the same thing? Let's find out! First we'll get a cup and we'll fill it with water. After we get it all filled, let's put it in the freezer and see what will happen to it. While we wait, let's see if ice will melt to water. I'm gonna take a couple of ice cubes and I'm gonna take my hair dryer, which will make lots of heat, and I'm gonna point it towards our ice cubes and see what heat will do to our ice cubes. Let's see if this ice will melt to water. The ice cubes keep changing. Could that be a melting to water? We're about to find out. It did. We can see ice melts to water, but will it melt all the way with more heat? It looks like it did. Let's pour it in the sink to make sure it's all water. It sure is. Now let's see if our water has changed in the freezer. I'm going to take out our cup and see if our liquid has changed to ice. It sure is a solid, so it changed from water to ice. What about steam? Let's see if we heat water what will happen. I'm going to take my pot and fill it with some water. My stove is already on, so the heat will be ready. As soon as it's all filled up, we'll move our water onto the stove. Let's see if heating it will change the water or make it the same. I'm gonna add the cap to hold the heat in. Whoa, it's turned to steam. It's really warm. I wonder if we turn it off if the steam will turn to water again. Now that the heat is taken away, will it be water again? It's all off. It looks like it's all water. Let's pour it out. All water. Water has three properties. Solid, liquid, and gas. So, our ice, steam and water all the same thing? Yes, they are. Now we know water, ice, and steam are all the same thing. Thanks for watching and learning.